XL morning is going to be beautiful looking today anyway. Not much warmer than it is though. It's minus one right now. It's going to be zero by this afternoon. We have a special guest in the studio. The uh, Olympic uh, Heroes Tour continues here in uh, Metro Moncton and uh, big shindig uh, tomorrow downtown. Denny is here and uh, uh, Denny is, uh, I, I assume, are we your first interview this morning or are yeah. you? Yeah. So thank you for getting up early. Uh, Denny Morrison is a speed skater extraordinaire. No. Reigning Olympic champion. The, uh, right now is the Olympic champion. You're taking all comers too, right? <laughs> pretty big deal. <laughs> it's, it, it's a pretty big deal. Finally! Leather bound books. I've been and, waiting. Uh, We've been talking to Olympic athlete after Olympic no, athlete in the last couple of days. Stop. I've been waiting for that. Waiting, Come on. Waiting for the anchorman response, you mean? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> big deal. it is a big deal. I it couldn't get the aw shucks so much, you know, yes, that right. I would be shouting it from the rooftops. Oh, come on now. You're Denny's, right. Denny is not like that. Now, Denny, uh, first things first, you know, uh, the, the gold medal that you brought in, that was for Pursuit? Is that right? Team yeah, Pursuit. Pursuit. It's a three-man event. So, you, uh, some of these, um, I don't, I can't, can I say, like, some of the American skaters are, are, are jerks, or is that... Accurate. That's how they're well, not all. See them. Well, Travis uh, from Riverview does the speed skating. He's he, they won. Uh, he went to Riverview High. He skates as an American. Oh, right. To. Okay, oh, sure. Travis Jainer. Yes. So. Some of the uh, and it's not. I don't want to say just the Americans, but do are there? Uh, is it really like that? Is it like? Uh, sometimes it seems almost like pro wrestling. I know emotions run high in that, but, but are there some who are like trash talking you before your events and stuff or? Um, I mean, the Americans are bad, obviously. No one likes Americans. That's why it was so good to beat them in the final. Yeah. Woo -hoo! Um, but it's really the Dutch in speed skating who are the, I mean, the, it's the world versus Dutch, really. Really? Yeah. So when I saw the Americans beat the Dutch in the semifinal for the team pursuit, I was pretty excited. Oh, oh boy. So, oh, so no one else the Americans in the final. So your your training day is uh, what what would it be like a typical day? First of all, um, how much can you eat at the buffet? A lot, I assume a lot. Yeah, I think that with all the Olympians at the buffet right now, the casino, it's uh, they're losing money for sure. <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> <laughs> it would be the first time in history ever for a casino. But you know, yeah. that's uh, yeah, I think they can. They'll five five ninety nine on oh. Wednesdays. Gosh. I want to say hi to our friends at Casino and me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the big gala that's being, uh, this big gala there this weekend for the Olympic Hall of Fame inductions and stuff. And that's the reason, I guess you get back to it, that's <coughs> the reason for this big Olympic tour, the Tour of Champions, the reason why everybody's going to be in town this weekend, because it's happening in Moncton this year. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, there's a new sort of, some new leadership people at COC, and they've been really good at trying to get the athletes involved and not just have the gala and not just have a, a party for the COC, but... Um, Get us out in the community and you know spread some Olympic cheer uh, in the in the region where we're having the gala. Well, I know my daughter is eleven. She was part of the group that went to the Coliseum yesterday, and that's something she's going to remember for a lifetime. You know, I, well, I said I wasn't joking around when I said well, I'll ask her how things were, and normally she's eleven, so she'll go, eh, it's okay. But she was over the moon. She thought it was, they, she and all her friends thought it was the most fantastic thing ever. And uh, it must have been really neat to be a part of five or 6,000 kids from District 1 and 2 there yesterday. Yeah, it was insane. I mean, that's <laughs> as many people as I usually race in front of at the Olympics. So. <laughs> wow. The, the screaming in there, the, the high pitch, I mean, it, it left me with some hearing damage that might last me <laughs> in my lifetime as well. <laughs> You're a new kid on the block. Or Justin Bieber. Yeah. Uh, new kid on the block. Freshen it up a bit. Justin Bieber. Nice. Yeah, nicely played. <laughs> okay. So when, uh, do you, when you're doing things like this, do you still have to train, or how does that work? You um, we well, our season usually ends mid May or mid March, yeah. and then we start again May second. So okay, so you had a little time off. A little time off. It's usually four to six weeks. Sometimes yeah. I stretch it to eight. Denny was telling us he doesn't have cable, and that's when we almost canceled the interview. We thought we have nothing, absolutely nothing in common with this fellow. And he stood on the counter and professed his personal love for the internet. So. <laughs> You know, that's that right. Was, it was all right. So you're not a couch potato, even when you're not training. There's always say you're an active guy, right? Yeah, exactly. So I mean, in my off season, I call it the off season because I'm not supposed to be training, but it's like snowboarding when there's snow, and then once it goes away, it's time to start mountain biking. Mountain biking until training starts. <laughs> so we um we have to uh, salute Netflix because they get you through some of the quiet uh, nights where you don't have cable, and we're trying to get Netflix to sponsor Denny. You know? It'd be a, you'd be the first Olympian. 
thought we were going after a beer sponsor. Well, also, well, we wanted to know off the air. We were asking Denny about the sponsorships and stuff because I know you probably get asked to sponsor, and you have a couple of uh, big sponsors. You're, do you want to mention? Uh, you're a Nike guy, right? Yeah, I'm a Nike athlete, and one of my first sponsors is CE Franklin, which probably isn't too prevalent out here in Moncton. They're a oil and gas supplier, kind of for piping and valves. Nike doesn't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> See how he turned the interview around on us. You want to hit us with some piping and valve questions? <laughs> That's tre tremendous. But do you get people? Do you like? Are you limited to what you are allowed to endorse, or when people want to support you and they're they are a corporate face? Like if a beer company says, you know, um, yeah, beer companies are tough. Just any alcohol because liquor companies can't use celebrities right. they can be considered celebrities oh, okay. to endorse any products, so they just use actors. Um, <laughs> I hope I hope that I'm I hope that I almost hope that I'm considered ineligible because you know you nice. not good for a beer company. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. If you're um, working uh, for a beer company and hearing this interview, <laughs> Danny is a fan of your product. Can I is that safe to say? Uh, not not getting in trouble. <laughs> Don't you know, on a, on occasion. <clears throat> only say that. only after, only on celebrating a little bit responsibly. There, yeah. that's perfect. So what other uh, is there anybody else since we're uh, just you know, throwing out ideas, people to sponsor you? Oh, I, could, I mean, really anyone can sponsor an Olympic athlete. Um, there's there's certain limitations on if you're not a CO, not an IOC sponsor, like not an Olympic yep, sponsor, sure. then you can't use the word Olympic and you can't use you know, Olympic athlete. But uh, but there's ways around that, and so yeah, contact me. <laughs> you will put Stuff a link to I like <laughs> by Denny Morris. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think of the old uh, John Belushi. You know, I trained hard for the marathon. I ate a lot of little chocolate donuts. You know. It's, one of his sponsorships. So uh, we'll put a link to your website on our website at xl96.com. But when you, uh, when people approach you to, uh, you know, endorse products, um, when it, well, can, they can contact you through your uh, website. But also, people like to have you come in and and, and speak, right? Is yeah, that, that's a big part of it for all of these. I think. I mean, it's different in the U.S. where there's just tons of corporate money rolling around. Um, How hard is that? That you there? There are such uh, regulations on uh, you as an amateur athlete, and yet you see these other nations coming in, and they have all the money, you know, behind them and stuff. Well, Canada did pretty well with OTP last year at uh, the Olympics, and uh, you know, helping support the athletes um, to get you know the, <laughs> the physio and all the uh, support staff they could possibly imagine for the sure. games and stuff like that. So, um, but it's just a bit different off the ice, you know, our pa our pockets aren't padded or anything like that. So, that's nice to have Nike on board and, and stuff for me. Well, because you're, I mean, you're here, you must have a lot of obligations, and I know um, my daughter mentioned yesterday how nice it was that you guys all got vacations from your jobs, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I said, well, sweetheart, I think for most of them, I said, I, I think that training is their job. You know, that's what you, I mean, you're not working nights at a bike store or anything like that. You're, you're trying to get by on you know, sponsorship dollars and stuff so that you can go back to the Olympics. People forget about it in between, you know, the four years in between Olympics, but yeah. you're 25, I expect that you think you're going to go to at least the next couple. I want to go to at least one more for sure. Committed to that. We'll see how that goes and then move on from there. But yeah. yeah it's, it's, there's World Cups and World Championships every year that we're always training for. And it takes money to go to those things too. Exactly. Right? But as far as vacations, I mean, I, I did pretty well this year. Uh, my season ended in Germany, so I used that opportunity and I told Swiss Canada, don't fly me home just yet. <laughs> spent some time in Dublin, some time in Austria snowboarding, and then Paris on my way home. So it was actually a pretty good vacation. But you're, only 10 days. you're a great face for, you know, uh, for what the Olympics and what, uh, you know, athletics can do for people. And uh, you're a good fella, and we appreciate you taking the time to come in. Uh, Melissa, who was in earlier, told us her favorite wrestler was uh, Jake the Snake. So, do you have a favorite wrestler, or um, like WWF? Well, listen, if you want to go K1. local, the local circuit, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably Bret the Hitman Hart. This oh, there you go. To the same physiotherapy as me. Get out! What? It's got ties here to our community too. So, isn't that? Oh, that's great. Thanks very much. We appreciate it. You're going to be downtown tomorrow. I'll be downtown tonight, I think. Oh, okay. Um, I had to do a cold effects thing with some kids and teach them how to do some power stuff. I thought when you said you were going downtown tonight, I uh, thought I was thinking, <laughs> you know, the O2 complex. You didn't think it was the kids. <laughs> no. Sorry, I went straight for that. It's Friday. <laughs> Is that the impression you get from me?
No, no. Not at all. No, sorry. And all we did was like beer and there are also Netflix. 25. And, anyway, yeah. we'll put a link to your website on our, our website where you can also go for all the information that's happening with the Olympic athletes in town. Our website is xl96.com.